All right, chat. So to end this stream, got a funny study abroad story. So as you know, I studied abroad in the Netherlands. If anyone is in college and thinking about studying abroad, highly, highly, highly recommend it because it is one of the best experiences. Like you are overseas, you have nothing to worry about except just surviving in a foreign country. Can't recommend it enough for your personal growth. I went to the school that's called Radboud University. Just such a cool place. Like um, campus was so awesome. You would bike everywhere. The Netherlands was such an awesome place. There were so many times where I was just blackout drunk and somehow biked my way back. Probably like one of the worst nights I got just really drunk. Every week it was a Tuesday night, which Tuesday night, why a Tuesday night? But Tuesday night was International Students Night at this one place that's called Cafe Van Rijn. I mean, it was so much fun because go out and party. I think my friend group was one girl from California, one dude from Scotland, one dude from Finland, and then just like people from all over. I hung out with a lot of people that were like from Germany and just all over Europe. It was really, really cool. And I went to uh, International Students Night one night. And on International Students Night, they had beers for one year. Euro, tequila shots for two euros so as you can imagine just bad news bears like i think i would drink a six pack of their like local beer it was called let me see if i can find it oh my gosh yeah this six pack i would drink a six pack of this like literally every single night before i would go out yeah so you'd go downtown you'd have this hole in the wall it would be like if there's the city center and then you'd go to this hole in the wall it was crazy so drink a six pack before i went out so already drunk get to the beer everyone like and everyone's having a great time since it's international students night since it's dollar like euro beers everyone is just like euro euro hey you need a beer hey you need a beer uh just ripping beers and then going back out to you know going outside hanging out uh having a smoke going back inside ripping beers got super 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 drunk i had maybe 13 drinks while i was at cafe van ryan so i think we would normally get there around 11 to 12 at night and then we'd stay there but till about 2 30 to 3 o'clock in the morning and sometimes we can make it past that my buddy who's from scotland he would normally stay out till like five six o'clock in the morning and they i mean everyone would have class the next day because it's tuesday some of the classes were just recorded online so you could just re-watch the lectures when you're not hung over so that's what that's what would happen sometimes i was interviewing for a position at this pretty big company the next day and i mean it was international students night so obviously i'm gonna go out need food obviously when you're that drunk you need to go get food so we go across the street there's this place that's called Fibo. it has fresh made food but also they have these food vending machines so you just literally go up to them put like a euro or like a quarter into one of these vending machines pull down the lever and it pops out food I, it's so like i mean it's revolutionary like why don't why don't we have food vending machines in america like it's it doesn't make any sense to me because this is such a good idea. I, I grabbed like a bunch of French fries. I got fried chicken. I got like some croquettes. Oh man, it was so good. So get all that drunk food. I have it in a bag. I carry it with me and I'm biking home. Bike back to my apartment complex. Don't really remember too much what happened after that other than just eating my food. And one thing that we would normally eat with french fries in the netherlands is mayonnaise it's not like the traditional mayonnaise here that you spread on sandwiches it was a lot more creamy it was a different texture get back to my apartment eat all my food pass out in my bed i didn't think anything was bad you know i i, I was drunk you know pass out wake up the next morning see what damage you did and when i woke up the next morning there were fries all over my bed there was mayonnaise all over my sheets. Like somehow I must have fallen asleep with my hand inside the little fry container and knocked it over at some point and gotten mayonnaise all over. And I was also so drunk to the point where I thought eating granola in my bed was a good idea. Cause I guess I didn't have enough food. So I had granola that I would usually eat for breakfast. Tried to eat granola out of the bag, got granola all over my bed. So as you can imagine, me waking up, I have food all over me, food all over my bed, super uncomfortable. 
And oh yeah, I'm extremely hungover from the night before. I mean, it was a clusterfuck, and uh, I had this internship interview coming up later that day, like four hours later. I kind of like just lay in bed. I was supposed to have class do like a group project, but I was so hungover, didn't make any of those. Like I slept in past my class, woke up, noticed that my group was meeting, scrambled to get ready to go meet my group, met, met them with like 30 minutes left, and they're like, oh, we... we Kind of covered everything, so you're good. Don't even, we don't even need you. So I bike, biked two miles down to campus for no reason, biked back, and had my interview. The Wi-Fi was so bad in like where I was that I would constantly have it like cut out. So I had to use a random person's internet to interview with this large corporation so that I can get an internship the next semester. While hungover, from drinking 13 beers and having just a super messy room and having food all over my bed. It was just all a bad situation. But on the flip side, being that hungover was able to keep me calm. And I actually did pretty decent on the interview and ended up getting the internship. But what was the cost? My dignity, my cleanliness of my bed, my sanity. So I don't know. I guess the moral of the story for this one is don't be afraid to have fun, but know your limits. I think that's probably a very common theme between all my stories. I guess another moral of the story is make good choices. <laughs> if you have an interview the next day, you can still go out, but uh, make sure that you can make your class the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Chad, have you ever drank to the point where you had to miss a class? Because I went to the University of Dayton and, um, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Senior night would be on Wednesdays, so you'd go out that night. Thursdays is a common bar night, and that's like when everyone is allowed. And then obviously, yeah, Fridays, Saturdays was a pretty common day drinking day. And then you'd go out Saturday night as well. All right. Well, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully, that's a decent enough story, but. Uh, morals of the story there is study abroad, make good choices, know your limits. Those are probably the th three, uh, the three morals of the story there.